Looks like we got them all. No, no, I saw some of them laying it that way right after the fight started. Well, if they're laying for us in the village, how are we going to set up an OP? Depends on how many there are. Hey, Sarge. Hey, hold it, it's me! <laughs> Scurvy. I thought he was still in the hospital. I don't just stand there. Come on, let's get on with the war. Kirby's back and you got him. Hey, hey, I thought you had a million dollar one there, Kirby. Well, I did too, but they told me down battalion eight I'm a victim of inflation. <laughs> hey, Sarge, got a replacement here for you. His name's Cal. Hi. Hi, we can use you. Uh, this is Doc, Sawyer, Cage, Little John, and Fleming. Well, well, well. What do you know? Fleming. You two know each other? Yeah. Now yeah, we started the war together in the same company, Omaha Beach. Cal Brown had to set up an observation post at Bell Dew. It's about a mile from Anna Village. The crowds could be there. Okay. Let's go. Kirby? Where'd you pick him up? Platoon headquarters. He just got back from a couple of weeks rest and rehab. He said it was with C Company up north of here and they had it pretty rough. That club three days straight in a row. But Cal was lucky, huh? You better believe it. He's the only guy left in this squad. Well, that's twice. What do you mean, twice? First time was Omaha Beach. He was the only one left alive out of his squad there, too. Move out. How many Purple Hearts you got? I mean, you've been pretty lucky to get through all this without having to... Why don't you take a walk off a high cliff? Oh, I didn't mean to ruffle you. I just wanted to know. Lemmy, you looking for trouble? No trouble, Sarge. This guy, Cal's a... He's a cop-out. He spent more time on rest and rehabilitation than he has on the line. Ran out on his squad at Omaha. Get behind some rocks and the whole bunch were as good as wiped out. You see him run out on his squad? Well, not personally, but I... You know anybody who did? Anybody you can believe? You give it to me straight. Well, look, Sarge, everybody was saying it. Everybody was saying what? Scuttlebutt? Yeah, but look. Well, look, Fleming, you get this straight. I don't care about Scuttlebutt. I don't like anyone trying to lost my squad just because he doesn't like someone. From now on, you see anything with your own eyes, you got the facts. You come to see me or else you shut up. You understand? I said you understand. Yeah.
Ruby. Tom, Sawyer, get to the roof by keeping busy. Case little John, plumbing. You're on me, we'll take the cave. Let's go. Where the devil were you? I couldn't move. Well, look, I moved, didn't I? I made it here. What happened? Uh, he just stayed there. Saw he was catching everything, and he just stayed over there. You. You let him die. I didn't let anybody die. I was pinned down. And I don't know what you're getting at. What gives here, anyway? What's he accusing me of? I was pinned down. Kirby, you tell me exactly what happened. Uh, I don't know, Sarge. Look, everything was so messed up and everything was flying. If I'd been over there where he was, I don't know. I might not have been able to do any more. Someone get one of his tags. Come on, I'll do it. I'm moving out to the village. Let's go. That church is an OP. Stay spread out. There might be some trouble here. Calm. 
to spread out. and chase those crowds out of the village. Okay, give him a hand. Right. Check out this church. Hey, Sarge, where's Calm? We'll look for him later. We get the second floor. Second floor is clean. Calm down, that's how they go. What do you get a duck? In the leg. Let's get him in the church. You can fix him up in there. Fleming, give him a hand. I said give him a hand. David being a big help. He'll be all right. Doc, give him a shot, then we'll get him back to the aid station. Uh, 
How's that second floor for an OP? Yeah, it's open on three sides. I better call in. Jack, my King 2, this is Weirook, over. Objective taken. Since last report, engaged two enemy squads, killed six. The others headed for the east. Our own casualties, one killed in action, one wounded in action. We'll evacuate wounded to your position, over. Establish OP and stand by. Over. Roger, out. Yeah, no more cops, Sergeant. What happened? Yeah, the vehicle took off going east. We're on standby. Little John, you take the second floor, keep a close watch. Cage, outside. All right. Kirby, let's man these windows just in case you take that one. Morning. Take this window. You'll feel better when it starts to take off. What's wrong? It's a bad wound, huh? No, no, it's, a, it's just a flesh wound. Pants leg? No, no, it's okay. I don't get it. What are you looking at? How'd you get these powder burns? Powder burns? Yeah. You think I shot myself? You think I pulled the trigger on myself? That's what you're saying. Shot myself just to get out of here? You wait a minute, I didn't say that. Just asking how you got the powder burns on your pants, that's all. I had a fight with uh, this Kraut. 
He's a big guy. Had one of those pair of those steel rimmed glasses, you know. Crowd glasses. It was hand to hand. Yeah. I couldn't even shove him far enough away to shoot. I tried to raise my weapon, but I don't remember what happened exactly. Anyway, it went off. Well, where did this happen? In front of the church. Yeah. There is a dead crowd out there. Yeah, but he ain't got no specs on. Well, you couldn't see him from here anyway. He's facing the other way. Hey, Fleming, forget it. Look, Sarge, I was only going to see look. you. look. You're on MP duty. You let me know about it. Hey, uh, look. These scratches. Look at that, huh? That's how close we were fighting. <laughs> Lousy crowd. Darn it, dug my face off with his fingernails. Sarge, I've been scratched like that in hand to hand. You know that. Tell me something, Kelb. How'd you shoot that German if you couldn't raise your rifle? That's what you said, wasn't it? bayonet was in your scabbard. I wasn't. Sure, sure it was, but I, I managed to get one arm free and I reached back and I pulled it out like that. And that German, he just stood there facing you and let you do it. I don't know. He had to see you pull that bayonet. All right, Fleming, lay off. I think it happened in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. We all know that. You can, Sarge. You've been on enough of them. What are you trying to do, Fleming? What goes here, Sarge? What's he trying to do to me? Just forget about it. Sarge, what are you going to do? Help cover up for this coward? I'm not trying to cover up for anybody. Now, you look, Fleming, I told you before, and I told you again, unless you see it with your own eyes, unless you've got the facts, you keep your mouth shut. All right, Doc, let's uh, fix up the scratches. Let's get him back to the aid station, huh? It's clean, isn't it? Clean! Just as clean as the day it was issued. Where's the blood, Kalb? Why didn't that German bleed? Or did you just stop and take time to clean it nice and neat? And maybe even oil it? After you killed a German? No. No. I remember now. Listen, Sarge, it, it wasn't my bayonet. It was his. The Krauts. Yeah. I remember now. You see, we were struggling. And I reached behind him to his scabbard. And I pulled out his bayonet and I stuck him with it. So help me. You gotta believe me. You know, I, I got mixed up before. I'm telling you the truth now. Yeah, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You're a lousy, rotten liar, Cobb. And everybody here knows it. You killed three of my buddies at Omaha Beach. And today you killed Sawyer, one of the nicest guys that ever lived. You are a rotten, lousy coward. Trying to sit it out back of the lines with a self-inflicted wound. Fleming, 
you get back to your window. I say get back to your window! Closer to buildings, you ought to be clear of a way to platoon. Hey, Fleming went out. Take it easy. What's he doing now? What's he doing now? He's bringing in that crop, the one you said you killed. Fleming, your own report. All right, all right, so I'm on report. But at least now we know the truth about the make-believe German with the make-believe steel rim glasses on, who was killed with his make-believe bayonet. Now, you get this, Carl. That German wasn't stabbed, he was shot. He hasn't got any steel rim glasses on, and he hasn't got a fight scratch on his face. Take a look out that window. He's right there in front. This time I got the facts. I didn't say it was that particular kraut. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said the crowd in front of the church. Well, there ain't no other crowd in front of the church. Well, I don't care if you believe me or not, because I'm telling the truth. Doc. His legs bleeding again. God, we believe you. We believe you're telling the truth. Just like the court marshal's gonna believe you. Sarge, I think I made my point. front of the church. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but with everything going on, I, I, I could have been mixed up. I mean, someplace else. <laughs> How's it going, Doc? Pretty soon. You gonna do what Fleming wants? You gonna make out that report about me? Fleming says, or anybody else says, doesn't matter. Making that report is my job, and I'll make that decision. Sarge, I know I don't seem to have things down right. 
where I was, the wrong crowd. I was just telling Doc here that. But I didn't do anything wrong. I fought right. You know what a court-martial will do to me? I can see it on these guys' faces. They think I'm guilty. What do you think a court-martial is going to do? You get a fair trial. You know what a court-martial means? You know what it really means? I know what it means. Look, I don't make friends easy, you know? A lot of guys don't like me. And I'll tell you the truth, I don't care about a lot of them either. But I got a wife. I got a couple of kids and I care about them. And all they need for their old man to come home with some lousy, dishonorable discharge and everybody be pointing to him on the street every place they go. All because of some lies. It's crazy, you know, it's stupid. You gotta believe me. Yeah, I'm gonna make you this promise. I'm gonna give this town a good going over. And I'll try to find that crotch you said you killed. I said I killed. I killed him! Try to find that crowd. What if you don't? What if he managed to crawl away before he actually died? What if he got back to his own lines? I don't, I don't see how he possibly could, but what if he did? You get ready to move out. Kirby and Cage will take you far as the river. From there, you can make it on your own. Request permission to delay return for one hour. Over. For what purpose, White Brook? Over. Perform special recon patrol. Over. Out. The battalion doesn't need the OP here. Doc, you take him right back. We're going to look for that crowd. Cage. You and Kirby take him as far as the river. All right. seem to be any of them down this way. There doesn't seem to be anybody. Maybe we could make it. It's not good. There's a direct line of fire from the snipers up there. 
The sniper is out there, and Tushmeiser will be on the rubble around the corner. Yeah, they're dug in pretty close. We're gonna have to Checkmate King 2, this is Whiterick, over. King 2, this is Whiterick, over. King 2, this is Whiterick, over. Or maybe you got busted when they hit the ground out there. Hey, Sarge! What about this alley here? How good has he been in? The only way out is down on Main Street, we'd be sitting ducks for the Schmeisers. Well, we could get up on the roof, we'd be off and running before they knew what was happening. Keep looking out that window. Kirby, keep your eye on that alley. We may have to hold up here till dark. But Sarge, we better get out of here while we can. If they call for reinforcements, we won't have a chance. Don't you get it, little John? We got a wounded man here. He couldn't make it over the rooftops. So we just gotta sit here, like sitting ducks. All because of a coward who tried to get himself a free pass out of the fighting. Sarge? Yeah, just fire to keep him pinned down. Around while the last till it gets dark. Don't try to pull out of here. Hey, Sarge. Still no crowds down this way. Those lousy schmeisers, they really got us pinned down. Hey, Sarge. Maybe I can whip myself across the street with a couple of grenades while you guys give me cover. Forget it, suicide. Well. So we said if we stay here also. What do you get for a self-inflicted wound charge? I don't know. I mean, they send you to prison, you get a dishonorable discharge, what? I don't know. What difference does it make? Since they don't give you any medals. But if I got a not guilty, I'd have a black eye last me the rest of my life, right? Look, you want some advice? Just don't talk about it.
Larry Littlejohn. It's just over. They're trying to get out the back. Go on. Go on, check him out. Sorry, Doc. Shut up. Sergeant Fratt, you could have killed yourself. I try to crawl to the corner and get the guy with the schmizer. Who do you think's gonna believe that? You're pulling another cop out and you know it. Just take it easy, Fleming. Then tell him to shut up and save it for the chaplain. We could have all been killed trying to save your stinking hide. When I get through testifying at your court, Marshal Brother, you're gonna wish you... Hey, Fleming! Take a look over there. Here with a zombie bayonet. Like Caleb said. We got him, so it's all clear. Blocks down the street. I figure we'll want it. Hey, run! Hey, little John. Give Doc a hand. Get him in the truck, huh? Like you said, believe only what you see with your own eyes. Eh? That's right. And even then, you have to look twice.